All righty, welcome back everybody to another video here on the channel. Today we're going over all the manga that I currently own. I haven't really cataloged everything, so instead, enjoy this colorful commentary with a nice slideshow. Let's get to it. We begin our adventure with the Berserk Cube, as I like to say. As you can see here, I have all the available Deluxe Edition hardcovers, including the Tankobon editions. I have collected Berserk before, and I've been giving them away to a friend as I upgrade to the Deluxe Editions. And over at the top, we see Gigantomaxia. Blade of the Immortal, fantastic series that I'm hoping to finish reading soon so I can do a proper video on this channel. But really excited to have these Deluxe Editions. Only three more to go, and we're done. Beastars, one of my favorite releases. I love Paru Itagaki. She is one of my favorite mangaka. I just really enjoy her art style. Kind of reminds me of European comics in a way with, of course, manga sensibilities. The next cube is where things get interesting. Here we have Demon Slayer and Dragon Quest Monsters Plus. The second layer contains Battle Angel Alita, which I recently reviewed on my channel if you want to check out that video. And I've just started getting the Battle Angel Alita Last Order Omnibus Edition. So I have the first two here. Hopefully I can get the others soon and complete that. Third layer, or I should say on top of the second layer, Die Dark from Q Hayashida. I got the first four volumes there. And the real third layer is a mishmash of things. I know that recently they reprinted all of Black Lagoon, but as of this video, I haven't gotten them yet. So as you can see here, I only have uh, half the series followed by some of Call of the Night. The missing volumes, which would be uh, four and five, are on their way as of this video. Followed by one of my favorite shonen manga, and that is Dragon Quest The Adventure of Dai. I really hope this first arc sold well, that they'll continue to license and put out the rest of Dai's adventure. The next cube, as you can see here, Got a little Dinosaur Sanctuary and Darkstalkers manga goodness, but the main focus here should be Doro Hedoro, one of the best manga that I've read. I love that series. Kiyu Hayashida can do no wrong, in my opinion. Second layer of that, we add Dr. Stone, one of my favorite recent Shonen Jump entries. Frieden, the first five volumes. I made a first impressions video on this channel if you want to check it out. And I have the first four of the Fist of the North Star hardcovers. Next up is Gantz. Here I have the 10 volumes uh, omnibus editions. Next up is Gantz. I have the first 10 omnibus editions, only two more to go, and we'll have this series uh, complete. And we'll have this series completed. Couple stragglers, Gundam Seed, Astray R. That was a gift from a friend a very long time ago. Hunter Hunter. I haven't finished getting this, as you can see, I only have volume one and then the stuff after the anime. Inspector, again, I'm collecting after the anime. Eventually I'll go back and get the missing volumes, the first six. I am a hero, missing the last three volumes because they've been horribly out of print. Here we have Lady Snowblood, all four volumes of that. I've started getting into Kimono Jihen, love that series, and one of my past grails that I was able to acquire thanks to a friend of mine, Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer, all five of the Omnibus editions. Magical Girl Apocalypse, gotta give a shout out to another friend of mine that gifted me almost half of the series and I really liked it, so I went ahead and got everything. Nurse Hitomi's Monster Infirmary, I got one volume of that one. Some Rumiko Takahashi books like Maze Onikoku and Mermaid Saga, and over at the top, I've been getting my Dress Up Darling. My Hero Academia, I stopped at volume 30. I'm kind of waiting a bit because I'm like 10 volumes behind on reading this thing. Uh, so I'm waiting to see if we get a final number in Japan as to when it'll end. Over at the top is My Hero Academia Vigilantes. I have six volumes of that. I think that's half or close to half of the series and the box set for Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind from Hayao Miyazaki. One Piece gets a full cube to itself, uh, as you can see. As you can see, I'm collecting the 3-in-1 editions. That's my preferred format for it. 
and I have up to volume 75 of that. I really need to catch up. I'm super behind on my reading of One Piece. But at the top, I got some stragglers here that don't really fit anywhere, so they're just stuck there for now. Box of Light, I got one volume of Black Clover. Got the Burn the Witch manga. The Galaxy Next Door, volume one. Made a video on that if you want to check it out. Onigai Teacher, one and two, that's the whole thing. That's actually my very first manga purchase, if you believe it. Because, I, I don't know, I was at a Borders, rest in peace Borders, and I really, the cover intrigued me, picked it up, and I found it super funny and wholesome. I didn't know it was based on the anime, I thought it was the other way around, but I ended up really liking the manga more than the original source material. I got the first volume of Naruto in Japanese, and the epilogue to the Naruto manga, as well as a character data book. These two cubes share three series that I like. First is Prison School, all 14 volumes of that, Olympus, and Ran and the Grey World. Second layer of those two cubes includes Record of Ragnarok, as you can see on top, Rooster Fighter, Rent-A-Girlfriend, and of course the Pokemon manga. And if you're wondering why I have the Pokemon Adventures series collected like that, the first two box sets mean a lot to me on a more personal level. So I'm not getting rid of them. And in order to not double dip, I had to get volume 15 so that I can continue then getting the adventures uh, deluxe editions. So six through 10. I am thinking of getting the first five to put on here and the box sets, I'll take them out and display them elsewhere. So that's something I'm looking forward to doing in the near future. Here's a random assortment of books. You got Osamu Tezuka and Shigeru Mizuki, two legendary mangaka. From Tezuka, we have three volumes of Blackjack, Bomba, and Princess Knight. I've only recently gotten into collecting Tezuka books. So yeah, only three series so far. And uh, from Mizuki, mostly the yokai stuff, or actually all the yokai stuff. I still need to get the war stories, like the Showa books and all that stuff. But here we have Nononba, uh, Tono Monogatari, and the Kitaro books. And over there in the corner is Sailor Moon Volume 1, the Takeuchi Collection, smaller edition, based on the Eternal version. And yeah, looking forward to getting all of that collected. Samurai Deeper Kyo, I think this was my first manga. I mean, not all of these volumes, as you can see, some of them are used library editions. Most of them you can't get anymore for decent prices. But at least the first five or six volumes of Samurai Deeper Kyo, I got them at Borders. Like I said, it was this manga and Onegai Teacher, those were my first purchases. Second layer of that, or third, I guess, you got Satoshi Gon's Opus, Spirit Circle, one of my all-time favorite manga, and Succubus and Hitman. Next cube, next cube, probably one of my favorite isekai, that time I got reincarnated as a slime. Such a fun series. The Ancient Magus Bride, we have the first 15 volumes of that, along with The Brave Tuber and Tropic of the Sea from Satoshi Kon. Third layer of that cube includes The Legend of Zelda, the Twilight Princess adaptation, probably the best one, honestly. If you're interested in getting uh, Zelda manga, just get this one. The others, they're fun, but that's about it. I got one single volume of The Girl from the Other Side, and I got the first half of The Tunnel to Summer, The Exit of Goodbye's Ultramarine. Next cube, one of my all-time favorite ongoing manga, To Your Eternity, 17 volumes of that, excellent series. And the second layer, we got the Seven Deadly Sins Omnibus Editions, Spriggan, and a lone Tokyo Revengers. I still don't know if I want to commit to getting Tokyo Revengers because I don't have space for it, but I at least have the first two volumes there. This one is dedicated to Makoto Yukimura. I have here Planets and Vinland Saga. I don't have all the Takahiko Inoue books that I would like, but I am collecting Vagabond, finally. As you can see, I'm missing some volumes. Some have come back into print, but I couldn't get them in time for this video. Over at the back, we got Wave Listen To Me from Hiroaki Samura, the same mangaka that did Blade of the Immortal. And we got Wolfsman, which is done by Mitsuhisa Kuji, who was an assistant of Kentaro Miura. And I only have one of the hardcovers for Mobile Suit Gundam The Origin. I have no idea why it's there next to Wolfsman, but there it is. And I forgot to show these off. We got the Gone box set, Die Wergilder. Probably butchered that name. 
uh, from uh, Samura. Uh, Yona of the Dawn, I only have four of the volumes. Most of it is out of stock. We'll see what happens with that. Yakuza Reincarnation, the first three volumes. And not pictured here, I forgot to include uh, Magi. I have three volumes of that, but I haven't made an effort to look for more. Here is my Junji Ito collection, as you can see, the hardcovers. And honestly, I don't know why I placed interspecies reviewers here, but I just found it funny that it's next to Junji Ito. So a little bit of horror, a little bit of sexy time. Interspecies style. Inio Asano gets a dedicated cube. Here is Goodnight Poon Poon. Nijigahara Holograph, A Girl on the Shore, as well as Dead Dead Demons, Dead Dead Dead, Dead Destruction. I don't have all of it. But as I get closer to volume nine, I'll pick up the rest. A couple random books here. You got A Terrified Teacher at Ghoul School and the Death Note All-in-One Edition, as well as the big trade paperback version of Ghost in the Shell. From one of the masters of the medium, Naoki Urusawa, I wish I could have all of his works. Unfortunately, not all of it is available. But I do have here Asadora, Monster, and Pluto. Here's Blank Canvas, my so-called artist journey. And I could have framed this picture better, but there is Tech on Kinkrit from Tayo Matsumoto. And speaking of Tayo Matsumoto, here's number five, as well as Sunny, the hardcovers. And next to that, Bakemonogatari. Started collecting that recently. To finish off this video, two series that I really like from Shuzo Shimi, Happiness, and The Flowers of Evil. So that's going to be it, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in. I know it's a little bit unorthodox. I know people like the full video, touring it, and picking out books and talking about that. But honestly, the 2K lac shelves are a bit of a mess because there's no room, so I'm triple stacking stuff. It, it, it's not as pleasant as I would like. Eventually, I would like to get some sort of riser to elevate at least the, some of the rows in the, uh, in the cubes. So it'll look nicer or a little bit more presentable, but honestly, it's not a priority. Uh, nobody sees the collection except myself, <laughs> so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but for the purpose of a YouTube video, I guess it, it, it's not as clean as I would have liked. Now the Kalax has more room, but I have a lot of indie comics and Marvel and DC stuff. So if somehow I'm able to make space for another shelf i would like to get those books out of there and put them on a, a like a billy case or something like that and have the two kalax just dedicated for manga that would open up uh real estate for more series and everything would look nicer these are just ideas in my head i don't know when it'll happen i'm looking forward to when that day comes but for now it is what it is we play with the cards we're dealt with but regardless, thank you so much, every single one of you, for tuning in. I truly do appreciate it. If you're new here, I do content like this, where I go over all the manga that I'm reading, all the hauls and all that stuff, and I go over all the anime that I'm watching. Please consider subscribing or hit the like button on your way out. It would really mean a whole lot. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. God bless. Stay safe out there. I will catch all of you on our next video.